street. It's very unassuming from outside. Um, it's just a small little entrance, which is that. But if you look around, there's quite a lot of detail and so much character. At the moment, there are no contactless here in taxi, so we do cash basis. Yay, we finally made it. It's very unassuming from outside. Um, it's just a small little entrance, which is that. But if you look around, there's quite a lot of detail and so much character. The floor is pretty funky. This used to be was this used to be a house before? Yes, ancestral house. Ancestral house. For years, wow. and then we converted it into a house. It's very good. It has a lot of character. Thank you. It's very fun. So there's a lot of paintings and a lot of old like interiors here. So I am absolutely loving it. interesting paintings there and yeah it's looking great and, and very ancestral it seems a bit strange but I'm starting the little room tour here in the toilet but I'm loving the natural sunlight coming in and I was telling Eddie that this is the kind of sink that I've been wanting like if I was gonna construct the house it's just made from concrete and it seems very yeah you don't have to buy tiles or a sink it's it's just raw, industrial, but it can look elegant if you display a little flower, I suppose, in it. And I also like that our shower is separate from everything else. The flooring is nice and clean and it's so spacious. Every time we check in hotels here, it seems like there's no divider between the shower and the toilet. But here, I feel like this is something that, yeah, the, the that just makes it a little bit more comfortable. So we have a heater and a nice waterfall heading. Very happy about that. Yeah, it's very spacious. And there's like it's very modern and an uh, ancestral vibe. And I don't know what this is. This probably is like some I don't know old stereo. But what makes the room really cool is check out our bed. What is up with that? That's so cool. And we are two persons, but we've got a nice space bed here. But to my right is another, I would say a day bed, I suppose, or just in case you're traveling with more people. Very, very nice detail. And of course, the tiles. So I was telling Eddie, my eyes are never bored. But if you look at the interiors here, it's just so many. I think it's really meant to be unfinished. You've got our door. But if you look at the details here, it's absolutely unfinished. And then all of a sudden you have bricks. It's just if you're if 
you are a creative or you like looking at if, if your eyes love wandering definitely flying fish is a place that's going to keep your eyes entertained so long but one last thing so usually when you travel we have one massive light um here we have mood lights i'm gonna show you so if you want to sleep properly at night and you're just trying to rest your mind you want to set the light so here are the switches check it out look at that it just becomes so cozy with those nice mood lights and you switch it on oh no oh this is there's another light up here so yeah i can switch this one off and then it gets even cozier this is perfect we're getting a good night's rest, really. Um, I do appreciate the night fish and we love the details. Ah, this feels like a nice, 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 luxurious hotel. Great time to check in a place like Fine Fish or just in general because, well, first of all, it's um, I think the economy is still recovering from COVID, and right now there's not a lot of people here. We're very lucky because places like Flying Fish or Mad Monkey or just even other hotels can get so busy. Right now, it's just us, and I'm entering the rooftop, which is pretty cool i don't suppose you can step on the actual roof but it's just a nice place if you want to chill out with with the sun read a book oh there's actually a connecting place let's go check it out actually sure if we're meant to go here because they did put a pot in the center of the walk path but entering here this is so funky we've got some grills over and I bet you at night time it's gonna look really nice you've got these nice light bulbs and more detail about me one I bet you this is another another room because they do have some dorms here also ah yeah dorm D so this is where you do share with other people and this is a massive house whoever used to own this place has done well with converting it oh look at this i wonder if it's open you can actually oh it's locked but there's a little net over there where you can chill that is so cool i'll check out the detail here it's for you i mean like for you to hang out i suppose another quirky feature and i like the switches here I do like the I like that they pay attention to the detail. Let's go enter what seems like the shared toilets. Wow, oh, very spacious too. I get some nice switches here. Very, very interesting. Uh, I don't think that there are people sharing now the dorm. This is where you can do brushing of the teeth. It's very industrial, but I'm absolutely loving the details. More brick over there. It's just so fun. It feels like you're exploring a deserted building, but it's not because look at the detail. And there's even a door above us that they connected. Lights! How funky is that? just so nice that this is like a hangout place imagine people yeah people would hang out here to read a book and they also have sockets here if you want to charge your gadgets while doing work laptop here for all the digital nomads uh, for those traveling <laughs> and I just then counting how many doors there are above our heads because um, yeah the details there there's a lot of windows above us and just very interesting details. 
remember the names. Dormeth, Dundee. Yeah, or it's easier to remember. Laka One. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. So. Malapasqua, so yeah, the names of the rooms here are named after different places in the Philippines. That's Malapasqua there. This is Olambo. I don't know where Olambo is. But here we are by the road. And this seems like a very quiet place because the um, the area that's around us are all residential. So there's not going to be a lot of buses or jeepneys. So we're in a quiet place. We're going to get a good night's rest tonight. And there's the pool. Check it out. We also need to make reservations to have dinner tonight. The good thing is they accept cheap cash in case we run out of cash because it's just nice to be cashless sometimes. 